Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this channel, we'll be talking about system on chip. System on chip, as an SOC, is a small chip which goes onto the PCB of your phone, tablets, laptop, uh, PCs, and everything else. Everything else apart from SOC gets connected to SOC. For example, if you have internal storage, external storage, if you have a fan in your in your PC that connect, gets connected to this, uh, your clock speed, your sensors, your display, cameras, your actuator motors, everything else connected to this. Now this SOC has just only one purpose, to do one task the most efficient way by communicating with each other. So the main core of this SOC is a CPU which takes care of the which data should go where. For example, let's just take one, one example to learn about the whole SOC. Let's take augmented reality. So in augmented reality, you can see a virtual object placed in front of you. You can see it onto the display. And if you move around, that environment reacts to it. It reacts a certain way. So what, how does that happen? So the camera module takes care of the camera processing data. Like for example, if you have the feed that's coming from the camera module gets processed in camera module here. Now, the feed that comes from the sensor, if you're moving the screen like this or that, that becomes sensor code. Display takes care of putting them together and showing onto the display. But who really does all of these calculations? Who really mixes camera with sensors? Who really mixes sensor cameras to the display and uh, get the interaction done properly? It should have been part of CPU. CPU takes care of all the interactions. But not every time CPU can take care of everything at the same time. For example, if you're also having a call when you're having a, an augmented reality, all of those multiple things CPU can't really take care. So understands it understands that uh, augmented reality that you're trying to do through camera is a graphics intensive process and it, taking, it is taking a lot of my uh, processing power or processing time. It gives it to GPU and GPU takes care of the camera, sensor code and display together and then shows it onto your screen. So that becomes GPU's part. Now, now let's just say in the second example, you're trying to record your audio. Now that audio cannot be done with augmented reality. If, you're, if you want to see something and also record your voice onto the phone, now all of these things can't be done by GPU and CPU itself. Now the digital processing, the digital signal processing will be done by DSP, which takes, takes care of the audio parallelly so that CPU doesn't have to get loaded with that kind of data. So that becomes CPU, GPU and uh, DSP control. If you're talking about calls, if you have like Wi-Fi, if you have any network, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or um, NFC, all of these communication devices that you communicate with over network gets uh, driven by common, uh, connectivity module. This takes care of that. So all together, all of these modules, even cache memory, so the processing that you do, it's not really real time. Not everything is real time, right? Something has to be stored in the memory so that the others can the other data can be processed so that this data can be put onto for processing. That becomes a cache memory module which has a very small storage and keeps the storage for a while, keeps the data for a while. So everything included, well connected, becomes a system on chip. So this is all about system on chip. If you have any questions, uh, you can put that questions in the comments below. I will definitely reply to it. Uh, and uh, if you like the video, uh, like the video down below. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching.